skin, pink bandage. What's up guys, it's Becca from Pretty in Picos here and today I thought I would do a video about myths in skincare. I definitely have seen like some really ridiculous things floating around online and some people actually think that they're true so I thought it would be good if I sat down like as a licensed esthetician and kind of showed you guys and told you guys like about the ones I've seen and debunk them for you and tell you like why they're not true or why they're a myth and stuff like that. All right, so let's get into it. Okay, so for my first myth, I decided to go with the fact that people think you get acne just because you don't wash your face and that's really not true at all. If it was as simple as just washing your face, I don't think anybody would have acne. I think that people with super bad acne and cystic acne that would be washing their face like every day to try to get rid of their acne so it just seems a little outrageous to me i mean that definitely can be a part of it if you're not taking care of your skin if you're not cleaning it properly if you're not using the right stuff for your skin it can help aid like in breaking you out or it can help break you out it's not the main reason why you have acne so i definitely want to debunk that for you and kind of let you know that that's definitely a myth so Keep washing your face, but don't think that just because you didn't wash your face or you don't wash it enough, that's the only reason why you have acne. All right, number two. So number two is anything marked natural or chemical free must be better for you than other skincare products. So that's definitely one that needs to be addressed right now because a lot of products, a lot of companies, especially acne companies are starting to come out with more like, oh, our company is natural. and. It's plant-based and it's so good for your skin and being organic and natural is way better for you. In some cases that's definitely true, but it kind of depends on the person. So a good example is things like skin peels or chemical peels for your face. A lot of the ingredients that some companies use are natural. Like does that mean that's good for your skin? That it's better for your skin than something else? Absolutely not. Not everybody needs a chemical peel, not everybody needs natural organic products. It's just something that can benefit you, it can help you if it's right for your skin. So my advice to you if you do use natural or organic products is that you pay attention to the expiration date because a lot of times if they don't add, they don't add like parabens or things like that and preservatives, like your products can grow mold, they can grow yeast like really fast. So definitely be checking those expiration dates and just remember that just because it's natural or organic doesn't mean it's the right skincare for you or it's gonna be better than anything else. You need to make sure you're doing your research, you need to make sure that you're paying attention to the ingredients, and you need to kind of get to know your skin before you make the natural jump or go all natural. You definitely need to know what's right for your skin. Okay, so myth number three. The myth number three that I chose is washing your face with hot water is going to be the best way to open up your pores and the best way to clean your skin. So I would definitely say this is a myth because extremely hot water or really hot water Although it can open your pores, you might end up with drying skin, you might end up with your skin's like natural and protective barrier being stripped from your skin, you might strip nutrients from your skin as well if the water is too hot. So definitely lukewarm water, definitely something that's not like scalding hot. Like steam is really good for your skin because you can kind of control whether it's too hot, whether you can stay in there this for a specific amount of time. So steam is definitely a good one. But taking hot scolding showers or washing your face every day with like hot water because you want to open your pores, it's definitely not good for your skin. I would say just warm water would be my best bet because warm water really does help open your pores. But if you're going to be taking like 100 degree shower every day and trying to open your pores and like be desperate to like get the dirt and stuff out with like 100 degree water, you're going to be stripping your skin of like so much nutrients and you're going to be stripping like the protective layer and that can cause like even more bacteria, it can cause your skin to be really dry. So I definitely would say washing with like super hot water is definitely a myth. So my suggestion is to use more warm water and not scalding hot water. Okay, myth number four. So these are for the people that tell you if it burns, it's working. And I'm here to tell you that is definitely not true. So if it's burning on your skin, you need to remove it with a washcloth. You need to get it off your face because burning sensation like could mean that you have sensitive skin or it can mean you're having an allergic reaction. It can mean a whole bunch of different things. So definitely when it's stinging, like no, it's not working. It could be like, harming your skin and doing damage that you don't even know about. So I definitely would say if you're gonna get skincare that stings your face and put skincare on that stings your face because 
you think that it's working better if it's burning like beauty is pain but definitely not when it comes to skincare you do not want your face to be burning while you're putting a product on it could definitely be have something bigger going on so if it's burning you definitely need to wash it off with a washcloth okay so myth number five myth number five is going to be the fact that people say the harder you scrub the more you're exfoliating and the better it is for your skin. And that is not true. It actually kind of freaks me out because I know what over exfoliation can actually do to your skin. It can do way more harm than you think. Like you could be stripping off live skin cells. You could be putting holes and microscopic scrapes on your face and it could cause irritation. It could cause dryness. It could cause other skin problems for you to come up. So just because it's like super scrubby doesn't mean it's right for your skin. And just because you like scrub, for 15 minutes doesn't mean you're exfoliating. You could be exfoliating the dead skin, but you'll also be exfoliating the live skin cells as well. And those are skin cells that aren't ready to come off. And that can definitely cause like a lot more problems than you're already having. And it's painful. I don't know why anyone would want to like, scrub their face for like 15 minutes. I hardly manually exfoliate. So I'll do more like chemical exfoliation, like a pumpkin enzyme mask from Banish Acne Scars. That one's like one of my favorites because it's chemically exfoliating your skin. So there's literally no scrubbing involved. It's just that the pumpkin enzyme and the things, ingredients inside the product is actually working chemically to eat up the dead skin cells and to help your skin feel like super amazing. So it always makes me laugh when people are like sitting there and they like scrub their face and they tell me they exfoliate every day and I just like literally have to laugh because I'm like, do you not like realize your skin is regenerating and you lose skin cells like naturally every day. So if you've lost like a lot of skin cells in the day and then you scrub it all off, you're literally like, scrubbing live skin off and it's just like, I don't know people. I don't know, people do some crazy things out there but I just wanna make sure you guys are educated so Definitely exfoliating your face more and exfoliating your face in like a harsh manner. Like it's not really doing anything better for you. It's probably gonna cause like even more problems in your skin and we definitely do not want that. Okay, myth number six, and I think this will be my final myth. Uh, this one's probably like the most important one to me because I would get this and I still hear this every day all the time. People still ask me these questions. But sometimes, somewhere, someone decided to say that it, um, if you have oily skin, like you don't need a moisturizer. And that is definitely a myth because a lot of times if you have oily skin or over oily skin or your skin changes to be more oily, it's probably because you're dehydrated. That's usually a big indicator like, oh, if your skin's dehydrated, then it's going to become more oily because it's sending oil to the surface to kind of moisturize your skin and keep it hydrated so therefore you have more oil so people think like oh if i have oil and i put moisturizer on like my skin is just going to be more greasy and that's not necessarily true you need to find a moisturizer that works for you you need to find a moisturizer for oily skin you need to drink water you need to rehydrate your skin and definitely you'll see like, better results but definitely just because you have oily skin does not mean that you shouldn't use moisturizer because everyone needs some moisture in their life so you like just like regular cleansers like a lot of times they can strip the skin of like the barrier the protective barrier or the layer of oil of course you want to get the oil off your face but you need to replace that with something that's going to help protect your skin it's going to help nourish your skin so that's definitely another reason why like even if you have oily skin you need to be continuing to protect your face and moisturizer is like a perfect way to do that all right y'all that's it for me i gave you six myths that i try to debunk. I am a licensed esthetician so I do get a lot of questions. People ask me questions and myths and stuff like this and these are just the ones that I thought were the most important because they're the ones that I get like most often. So if you do have any questions about a myth that I didn't talk about or if you have any questions about a myth that I did talk about you definitely feel free to reach out to me on Instagram. My Instagram handle will be in the description below. Reach out to me, ask me your questions. I love answering questions, so I definitely can't wait to hear from you guys. So make sure you subscribe to the Acne channel and definitely hit that bell notification button so you'll be notified anytime you post a new video. And yeah, if you have any questions or want to see a new video, definitely reach out to me. Definitely put it in the comments below, ask questions, and I will see you guys next time.